have an odd path that led me to the design illustration world where from like my earliest grade school and high school bands, I always made my own art for us like without having any idea what I was doing. When I was in college, I signed up for some art and design classes thinking, hey, I can make stuff for my own bands and save myself some money. And it turned out that design was like my favorite thing ever. And so very quickly I started making more stuff for my bands and then venues would ask me to do posters for them. And before I knew it, I was doing more design work than I was doing music. And all of a sudden I was a designer. level of visual art that has any sort of like a similar feeling to the performance aspect of music is when you get to look back at a completed piece to the point where you forgot about the struggle of making it and you can just look at it as a finished object and think weird I made that I don't even remember making that but I know I did because sometimes I look at things I made you know five six seven years ago and it's like I would never be able to make that now like that part of me is gone and a new one is here now. Hands down the most satisfying part of what I do is when I get to take the things that I drew digitally, putting it through a photocopier and getting out some warbly, warm shape afterwards. Never stops feeling cool. I don't consider myself a super strong technical drawer, so when I'm creating things based in nature, I'm not going to be able to draw them like lifelike and majestic, so like what can I do that offers my take? And that tends to be changing the colors to be more fantastical or more vibrant, flattening the shapes in the interesting ways, like adding some dimension to the like, trees or mountains that doesn't look real but looks inspiring. Having worked in that aesthetic for as long as I have has absolutely shifted the way that I see the natural world. The most difficult and frustrating part of being a self-employed whatever I am I want every piece to be better than the last thing I did. It's a double-edged sword because it pushes me to make better work, but it's also really stressful at times. I constantly think about how weird it is that I've probably shipped things to at least a hundred countries. Once in a blue moon, I'll catch one of my posters in the background of a photo. It's always such a surprise to remember that that thing I made at one point is still a physical thing that will exist in the world for years to come and they are out there.